Hey everyone, my name is Donnie Lowy from CloseThatExplosion.com. I have a wholesale business in Brooklyn, New York. The next time you're in New York, you're welcome to visit my warehouse. Today I'd like to talk to you about wholesale exports to Africa. The opportunities, the challenges, and hopefully how you can do it so you have an opportunity to make money. So first of all, let's look at the opportunity. Africa is a tremendous continent. You have many countries in Africa. You have a, a very strong and growing middle class and upper class um, there's a lot less corruption that there was in the past. There's more money circulating in the country. The employment rate is, has been better than in the past. You have different types of jobs, more technology. So there's definitely opportunities. And, you know, with, a, I would say, the popularity of Facebook, you have a lot more people going online, seeing the styles. There's a very big demand for American brands and European brands in Africa. And, of course, depends which country you're selling to. There's going to be different demands. And so the opportunity is there. You know, whether it's selling branding clothing to Nigeria, to South Africa, to Kenya, to Zambia. So there's, you know, where it's selling even non-branded clothing, whether it's fashion clothing, there's definitely an opportunity. Now, the challenges that you have to sell the clothing at a price you can afford to buy it for. Now, the middle and upper class, you know, are, are doing relatively well, so they can pay more for the clothing. But, you know, you have, you know, I would say you have a lot of people still who are living in poverty, and they want to buy clothing as well. And either they'll buy used clothing or they'll buy non-branded clothing. And it's one thing I should mention to you is there are restrictions that many countries have as far as selling used clothing. So be aware of that. So I would suggest only stick to brand new clothing. It could be overstock. It could be um, shelf pulls. But it should be brand new clothing. Now, one challenge also you should be aware of is that China has flooded the African continent with low-cost clothing, low-cost shoes, and there still is a lot of used clothing being sold. Even in countries where used clothing isn't really a lot to be sold, there's still used clothing in those countries. So if you're going to go towards the lower end of the market, you're going to have a very hard time because you're going to be competing with, with used clothing. we are going to be competing with all the clothing floating in from China. So I would suggest to you that you look for either clothing, I would say, like in more of the middle or upper, upper brackets. So focus on designer, brand name clothing. It could be clothing by an up-and-coming designer, but the key is if the clothing is really good quality and it's really special and it, it stands out, then you're going to have a good you know good opportunity to sell it. But if it's clothing that's, you know, just, I would say, generic and very similar to the clothing being sold by the Chinese manufacturers, even if the clothing is, so to speak, um, has a, a designer label on it, but if the clothing isn't anything special, it's not going to appeal to people. The balance is that there is a very big demand for well-known designers, a well-known brand. So that will, will always outsell generic clothing. I should say it's going to be perf it's going to, there's going to be a stronger preference for brand name and designer clothing than generic clothing. But if it's clothing by a designer that's not known, then it has to be something really special and unique. All right, now that I've clarified that, I want to get to how to actually, you know, start making money by exporting wholesale clothing to Africa. So first of all, you have to pick a country or you could work backwards, look for the wholesale deals that you can find, and then see which countries will be you know, receptive, which countries there is a demand for that type of clothing. As far as reaching your customers, you can advertise online, you can use Google AdWords, you could advertise on Facebook. The great thing about Facebook is, I think I read recently, that a quarter of the world population is on Facebook. So if you advertise on Facebook, you can definitely reach a lot of people. And the good thing about Facebook, and also Google AdWords, is you can have really targeted advertising. Right, with Facebook, I mean, it gives you so many different demographics you can target your ads to. And with Google, you could target to a country, to a city. Um, you can use different keywords so the ads are triggered when people search for those keywords. So there's definitely good opportunities. I would recommend Google AdWords, Facebook advertising. You might also send out press releases announcing what you're doing. First of all, if, a trade, if your press release is picked up in an online publication or an offline publication, then more people are going to know about your business. And also, when people do a search online for what you're selling, they could come across your press release and then visit your website and hopefully buy from you. You can also um, you can advertise and directories, you can advertise in online and offline publications that are targeting people in the country that you're looking to sell to. So if you're looking to sell brand name dresses to uh, people in the tourism industry in South Africa, and there is a publication that targets the tourism industry in South Africa, you might want to advertise in that publication. You can also advertise on forums which are frequented by people from the market that you're looking to sell to. So if you want to sell to bankers in Kenya, and you find an online forum 
that is frequented by bankers from Kenya, you can contact the owner of the forum and advertise on that forum. You might even have to pay. You might be able just to share information without being spammed. Just let people know what it is that you do, see if you're interested, answer questions, offer advice. And that's another way to make contacts. And another way to export wholesale merchandise to Africa is to meet people in the country that you live in who have relatives or friends or simply have contacts in Africa and form a joint venture with them or ask them for leads and give them a commission for any customers they give you. You can give them a referral fee, ask them to introduce you to people. They might even just like the opportunity to meet. They might not even want a fee from you. They might partner up with someone in Africa and then buy the wholesale merchandise from you and then sell it in Africa either on a wholesale or retail basis. Now, as far as receiving your payment, there are many ways to do it. You could do wire transfer. You could do PayPal. You could do credit cards. You could do Western Union. You could do MoneyGram. Um, you could have someone visit your warehouse and pay you in person. They could pay you by a check, by a money order. They could pay you with cash. I mean, there are many ways to do it, and you just have to be, you know, aware if you're accepting credit cards or whatever payments you're accepting. You have to be aware of any regulations and of the risks associated with that payment option. As far as now shipping the merchandise, so it depends where you live, but there are many shippers that will ship to Africa, and there are many shipping companies that specialize in specific countries, so they should be able to give you the best rates. I would recommend using a freight forwarder. What a freight forwarder does is they'll aggregate shipments so they can get a lower rate for, per pound for the shipments. So, for instance, let's say you were shipping an order through, I mean, just let's say FedEx, and you would pay... $10 a pound, and you find a freight forwarder, and they're taking a lot of shipments and, and that are being sent to um, Zambia. So what they'll do, they'll negotiate a rate with the carrier and get a lower rate, and then they'll charge you a lower rate for, the, for that shipment. Another good thing about the freight forwarders is many of them ship on a freight collect basis, so your customer only has to pay for the wholesale merchandise up front, and then they can pay for the shipping when the order arrives, and that gives them more time to put the money together. And this will also, they just don't have to spend so much money in one shot. All right, if you have any questions or comments, please let me know. I'd be very happy to do business with you. I export a lot of merchandise to customers in Africa, so I have experience, and I'd be happy to do business with you as well. My website is closed at explosion.com. Please visit me the next time you're in New York. Have a great day.